Hey everybody, today is Saturday and we're excited to present Maple's pups to you. These pups are barely over 24 hours old and Maple is a first time mama and she has done fabulous with the delivery of her first litter of pups. And so lots of people don't even think about this kind of stuff when it comes to a breeding program. You know, we focus on purebred lines and healthy dogs and good temperament and all of the above desirable characteristics when it comes to a breeding program. But a lot of people don't think in the back of their mind there are many elements to a breeding program in addition to that from a breeder's perspective. And a lot of that has to do with the health of the mama and the ability for her to healthily deliver her pups and her mothering instincts and taking care of her pups and the overall well-being of the whole process of the pups from the time they're born till the time they're weaned and so those are just things that we pay attention to it's not necessarily something most people would think about but when it comes to a first-time mama you know we're always interested to see how she does with her delivery and if there's any health complications or uh, you know does she uh, completely go over the top when it comes to what to do with pups does her mothering instincts kick in does she retreat does she take care of the pups or does she want to just run away from these little guys that are trying to eat her <laughs> literally eat her and um, you know all of those different things so we are really happy to share that maple is doing wonderful her pups are doing great the delivery went great uh, she started delivering these pups about 6 a.m. Um, yesterday after an all-night party of very uh, little sleep on our part and hers um, her delivery started uh, the night before and she was busy trying to nest and prepare for the arrival of her pups and was very unsettled through the process didn't sleep nor did we and uh, 6 a.m rolled around and the pups started arriving and she's done great ever since then so that's a little bit on their birth story and right now it's actually a very warm day and it's pretty easy to keep the pups warm on a day like today and we're doing fine that way but uh, maple is feeling a little bit warm you're going to hear her panting in the background sometimes it would have been nice to separate her from her pups but we do not want to make her overly anxious about not being with her pups since she does have a very strong mothering instinct she doesn't like to be away from them so if you'll bear with us we'll just let her pant actually we did have her uh, away from her pups momentarily as we did our health checks on the pups and weighed them and got their ribbon colors put on here um, just a little bit ago so she was away from her pups for about 20 minutes while we did that and she got pretty worked up about being away from her pups which is one of the reasons why she's panting right now is she's settling back down from that so we'll just give her a break here and leave her with her pups so she doesn't feel more anxious than she already does about it but uh, these pups are doing great they all arrived healthy and well and we're happy to share that we have five girls and three boys and with the color colors trying to keep things in line with keeping everybody separate being as close in age as they are to ferns we opted to use some chevron ribbon patterns on the girl pups for maple and we didn't have chevron patterns for boys so the boys have a solid ribbon color for their colors and so you'll see we have mr orange here mr red down here somewhere in here we've got mr blue he's hiding down on the bottom there and so that's our boys then we've got peach we have hot pink purple 
neon, neon green, and light pink for the girls. So you're gonna have to pay attention in the videos. We've got a peach and a light pink. They're very close in color, but that's the best we could do with trying to keep uh, five colors for girls and keep them all separate. So they won't be joining Fern's litter until much later in life, but when they do, we want it to be able to keep them super identifiable and separate. So we chose to do some chevron ribbon patterns. So, um, so we will be happy to introduce these pups to you one by one, give you a up close look at their uniqueness and where they're at with their growth pattern. So I'm gonna adjust how I'm sitting and then we'll start that video since that takes a little bit longer and my feet are kind of going to sleep already here kneeling down. So rather than bump all the camera around while I move, I'll pause and restart in a second. Okay, here we go with Miss Maple's litter introduction. We'll start off with the girls. We have Miss Purple here at birth. As of today, she is 0.9 pounds. So she actually happens to be the smallest one of the litter, the smallest out of the girls as well. But she's definitely not small in terms of the averages for pups of this age. Um, they're actually all a little bit above average, which we would expect from Maple. She's definitely a full-size female, and Cliff is a good-sized male, and so we kind of expect a little larger pups out of these guys. So, Miss Purple here, she has a very, very slight marking on her um, right side of her groin. She's clear on her neck and chest, and her only marking is just right down here, right on the right side of her groin. It's probably like five hairs at the moment. Oh, we got a little poopy coming. So this is this is mama's job to kind of clean that up. So let me pause this video for a second and get that cleaned up. Okay, potty breaks over for Miss Purple. So that is Miss Purple. Just a very slight marking on the right side of her groin. Otherwise, she would uh, be clear on all the other areas. So next we will go to Miss Peach. And she is 1.12 pounds. And on her markings, she has a very, very slight marking on her neck. If you can see that kind of at my thumb tip right there. In the right light, it's actually hard to see with the glisten of their coat. But if you look at her just right, you can see that. It's very slight, just right under her collar area. And then on her chest, um, she has a very slight marking right there on her chest. And then very slight marking on her groin area. Just a few hairs down there uh, that are lighter colored. So that is Miss Peach. Next we'll go to Light Pink. And Light Pink is 1.08 pounds. I should mention, Miss Peach is the largest of the females at 1.12. And then the others are very close behind her. Uh, Miss Pink is 1.08 pounds. And she is a solid pup. So she doesn't have any markings that we're seeing at this time. Nothing on the neck, chest, uh, groin, or toes. So Miss Pink here is a solid pup. And then we'll go to Hot Pink, who's hiding back in here, trying to get some lunch. So Hot Pink is 1.1 pounds. So just slightly um, off of first position in size. She's second in position as far as size as of right now at 1.1 pounds. 
she has a clear neck area and then just a very, very slight hint of a mark on her chest. She has a very slightly marked um, groin spot right there. There's just a couple of hairs down there. On her feet, she actually has a very heavily marked uh, set of back left toes. So she'll have some stockings on her princess pink feet. And then a very slightly marked back right toe back there. So kind of a frosted tip on her toe there. So that is hot pink. And next to, oh, I got, I got to clean up my hands. One of the hazards of this occupation is when they eat, what goes out, what goes in must come out. So I got to clean up my hands here for a second. Okay, sanitation department has called and I'm all clear. So sorry about that. That's just the name of the game when it comes to pups is sometimes we wonder if they intended to call these poops instead of pups, but it is what it is. How's that folks? So um, we're back to neon green here. Oh, by the way, the fact that these pups are pooping so well is wonderful news because one of the elements of a breeding program a lot of people don't think about is the ability for the mama to produce enough lactation for the litter sizes that they have. And Miss Maple's milk has come in and is doing great. She's keeping up with the demand of all eight pups. So we're very pleased about that. All these pups are gonna do just fine. So neon green, let's get back on track with introducing these pups. Neon is 1.05 pounds. Sorry, Neon, I'm gonna steal you from Mama. So she's 1.05 pounds. And as far as markings go, sorry, there's a little poop on her collar. That's my fault. I had that on my fingers and I spread it on her collar. Sorry about that, Neon. So she has a slight marking right underneath her collar area on her neck. She's clear on her chest and a very slight marking on her groin. It's very, very slight. A couple little dots there. And then her feet are clear. So Miss Neon is the last of the girls for us to introduce. Next we're on to the boys. So first we're going to go with Mr. Blue since he is done eating and just hanging off here to the side. So Mr. Blue is 1.19 pounds and for his markings he has a slight marking on his neck. A little bit more pronounced than some of the others. You can see that there. A little bit kind of, of a bow tie look and a very small very small mark on her chest just a few light hairs there if you can see it at the end of my thumb um, he has a very small dot on his chest and then he has a very slightly marked groin area and something I didn't mention earlier is these pups they still have a little nub of their umbilical cord that is still in the process of drying up and falling off. Anyways, so that is Miss, Mr. Blue. So 1.19 pounds and very lightly marked. So next we will go to Mr. Orange. He's just resting it underneath the pile of everybody. Hello, Mr. Orange. So he's the biggest pup out of the crew. 1.23 pounds. That's a very healthy sized pup for this age. And he is just a big boy. So being a big boy with some orange and white makes me think of like a football player with his uniform or something. I don't know, he's just a big boy and got his uniform going on. So 
he has a as part of his uniform he's got his uh, neck marking there that's brighter than the others bigger more of a bow tie underneath the collar area then kind of a badge banner mark on his chest quite prominent to display there and then he has a more heavily marked groin to go along with some of his other heavier marks you can see that there oh we got a little poopy going there too sorry this is just right after they've eaten and we got poops all over the place these guys are full i'll get that cleaned up hold on a second okay we're back miss maple had to inspect my work he's all cleaned up so he's got a more heavily marked groin we will try to position him to show him to you there and then on his uh, toes he has more of a slightly marked back left toe um, not a not a full foot stocking more of a toe stocking look on his toe he'll hold still for me sorry he's trying to get back to mama if I put him down he's like lunch here I come as you can see he's got that figured out very well he's got a big nice round tummy so that is mr. orange and next we'll go on to mr. red another large boy sorry mr. red I'm gonna pull you off sorry um, so he is 1.14 pounds and he's got a very slight neck marking almost can't see it but when you are got him in the right light you can see that right there in the collar area in the neck crease of his neck and then he's got a more prominent um, chest marking but not as much as orange and then on his feet he's clear on his back right as far as we can tell right now and then his back left he's got some frosted toe tips on his back left toe so that is all of maple's pups one by one as by way of introductions and um, as far as col color coat colors uh, these guys are pretty close very evenly colored we've got a couple of them that are slightly different but we don't have any they're like really light in comparison to the others and we don't have any that are like really dark either um, sometimes that becomes more apparent after their puppy coat changes um, when they're first born you wouldn't notice this but you can kind of see it now there's a little bit of a pattern to their newborn coat can you kind of see how there's a little bit of a stripe look um, that is common with their newborn coat and that goes away as they get bigger it's almost like a camouflage to a newborn so that they would blend in in their environment if they were out in the wild and mama was trying to hide them from predators they come with a little bit of a natural camouflage look to them when they're this young and then that goes away uh, pretty quick here over the next few days but over the next few days we'll get to see their coat colors as they're they change a little bit but right now they're pretty even I mean as you can see like peach is a little darker than neon so out of these girls right here um, you can see a little bit of variation in color but honestly that's quite close as you can see if I move the camera in different lights you will see them differently just depending on which way the glimmer of the light comes off of their shiny puppy coat and so and also which direction they're facing their sides are lighter than their spine areas and things like that so we'll get a better feel for their individual coat colors um, with the next video but right now they're quite similar quite close as far as overall coat, coat colors there's not a really really dark one or a really really light one but we're excited to share these pups with you 
and introduce them to you. Uh, we've got their vet appointment on Monday to get their tails and dew claws done and let the vet give them a once over. We like to have their uh, vet, the vet do the tails and dew claws professionally and you know we get a little bit of a, a, a professional opinion on their condition and if they notice something that we don't as far as anything with the pups so it's just a good idea for us to take them into the vet and get checked out and have their tails and dew paws done really early on in life we don't see anything that's any kind of a concern with these pups and rarely would that ever be the case um, but it's always nice to have the professionals help us in all that we do so we look forward to sharing our next video of these pups with you and we'll do that you know in a week or 10 days or so i want to see how much they've grown because boy do they grow between now and eight weeks old you'd be shocked at how much changes in fact uh we've got an eight week old puppy we i could do a little comparison side by side i don't know maybe i'll keep them separate because I don't want Maple to get worked up about me taking a pup too far away from her. She doesn't want him out of her sight right now. So maybe that'll just have to pass. But they really grow between now and eight weeks old. And we really take everything that we do pretty seriously so that they get the right nutrition and have a healthy uh, start to their new life with their new families. So we hope you enjoy this video. And we look forward to sharing the next one with you. Talk to you later.